Have you ever wondered how the ancient Egyptians, without the aid of modern technology, built the Great Pyramids of Giza? These colossal structures, rising from the sands of the desert, are a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of a civilization that thrived over 4,500 years ago. The Great Pyramids were not merely architectural feats, they were symbols of the divine power of the pharaohs, intended to shepherd their souls into the afterlife. Constructed during the reigns of pharaohs Khufu, Khafra and Menkaura, these awe-inspiring edifices were erected with an accuracy and precision that still baffles modern engineers and scientists. Carved from massive limestone blocks, the pyramids were assembled with simple tools, a testament to the resourcefulness and ingenuity of the ancient Egyptian workforce. The laborers, who were not slaves but paid workers, transported these blocks across the arid desert, aligning them with the cardinal points of the compass. This feat, accomplished without the aid of the wheel or iron tools, is a testament to their remarkable knowledge and skill. The Great Pyramids are more than just tombs. They are a labyrinth of intricate passageways and chambers adorned with hieroglyphs and treasures. Despite thousands of years of exploration and study, these ancient structures continue to hold secrets that we are yet to unravel. Adjacent to the pyramids stands the Sphinx, a limestone statue with the body of a lion and the head of a man believed to be the pharaoh Khafra. Its purpose and significance remain enigmatic, adding to the intrigue and allure of the Giza Plateau. These majestic structures, built over 4,500 years ago, continue to captivate us with their grandeur and complexity. As we marvel at the Great Pyramids of Giza, we are reminded of the enduring legacy of ancient Egypt's architectural achievements. The enigma of the pyramids continues to inspire awe and fascination, serving as a timeless testament to the ingenuity and ambition of humanity. The Great Pyramids were not just monumental structures, they were the eternal resting places for the pharaohs Khufu, Khafra and Menkara. These colossal edifices standing tall against the backdrop of time are testaments to the ancient Egyptians' reverence for their rulers and their belief in an afterlife. Let's take a step back, over four and a half thousand years ago, to the era when these pyramids were constructed. Pharaoh Khufu began this grand tradition, commissioning the Great Pyramid of Giza, the largest of the trio. His son, Khafra, followed suit, constructing his own pyramid and the Sphinx nearby. The third and smallest pyramid belongs to Menkara, Khafra's son, continuing the legacy of his predecessors. But these pyramids served a purpose far beyond showcasing the pharaoh's power and wealth. They were meticulously designed and built to serve as tombs, safeguarding the pharaoh's journey to the afterlife. The ancient Egyptians believed that the soul, or Ka, needed a physical home, and the pyramid was the perfect, eternal dwelling place. The pyramid's construction was no small feat. It required a labor force of thousands working tirelessly under the desert sun. They quarried massive limestone blocks, some weighing over two tons, and transported them across arduous terrain to the construction site. Despite the simplicity of their tools, these workers achieved a level of precision that continues to astound us today. Each pyramid, carefully aligned with the cardinal points of the compass, was a labyrinth of passageways and chambers. The pharaoh's body was carefully mummified and placed in a grand burial chamber, surrounded by treasures, food, and everything else they might need in the afterlife. Hieroglyphic texts adorned the walls, providing instructions to guide the pharaoh on his journey into the afterlife. In their grandeur and complexity, these tombs were designed to ensure the pharaoh's safe passage into the afterlife. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of these ancient structures, we can't help but marvel at the ancient Egyptians' ingenuity and their profound belief in life beyond death. The construction of the pyramids was a remarkable feat of engineering, achieved with simple tools and techniques. The pyramids of Giza are a testament to the ingeniousness and determination of the ancient Egyptians, a people who, over 4,500 years ago, built these colossal structures that have stood the test of time. Imagine a bustling construction site, alive with activity. Thousands of laborers going about their tasks, from quarrying massive limestone blocks, to transporting them across the arid desert, to carefully placing each block in its designated position. All of this was done using rudimentary tools, like wooden sledges and ropes, combined with sheer human strength and endurance. The limestone blocks used in the construction of the pyramids were quarried from nearby sites, 
Some of these blocks weighed up to two and a half tons, about as much as an average car. Yet these were moved across miles of desert terrain, a feat that boggles the mind even today. Once the blocks reached the construction site, they were meticulously placed one on top of the other, forming the pyramid structure. The apex of the pyramid, known as the Pyramidian, was often covered in gold or electrum, a gold-silver alloy, to reflect the rays of the sun. The construction process was not just about brute force and endurance, but also about precision and accuracy. The pyramids were aligned with the cardinal points of the compass, a feat that would have required advanced knowledge of astronomy. The blocks were cut and placed with such precision that the joints between them are often less than a millimeter wide. The precision and accuracy of their construction reflect the advanced knowledge and skill of the ancient Egyptians. These architectural marvels serve as a reminder of a civilization that, despite its antiquity, possessed a level of sophistication and skill that continues to inspire awe and admiration to this day. Inside these colossal structures lie intricate passageways and chambers filled with hieroglyphs and treasures. As we delve into the heart of these ancient pyramids, we're transported to a world that existed over 4,500 years ago. The pyramid's interior is a labyrinth of corridors, leading us deeper into the realm of the pharaohs. The Grand Gallery of the Great Pyramid of Khufu, for example, is an ascending corridor that conjures a sense of awe with its over 40-foot height and steep incline. This architectural marvel leads to the King's Chamber, a granite-clad room believed to house the pharaoh's sarcophagus. The walls of these chambers and corridors are adorned with intricate hieroglyphs, the sacred script of ancient Egypt. These hieroglyphs are not simply decorative elements, they narrate stories of the pharaoh's lives, their divine connections, and their beliefs about the afterlife. The pyramid texts, found in the pyramids of the Old Kingdom, are the oldest known religious texts in the world, providing invaluable insights into ancient Egyptian spirituality. In addition to the hieroglyphs, the pyramids were filled with treasures intended to accompany the pharaohs into the afterlife. From gold and jewelry to furniture and food, these items were meticulously arranged to ensure the comfort and status of the pharaoh in the next life. Many of these treasures have been lost to grave robbers over the centuries, but the artifacts that remain offer a glimpse into the opulent life of the ancient Egyptian elite. And let's not forget the intricate system of shafts within the pyramids. These narrow channels, known as air or star shafts, are aligned with specific stars or constellations, reinforcing the cosmic connection the ancient Egyptians drew between their pharaohs and the celestial realm. Despite millennia of exploration, the mysteries of the pyramids continue to fascinate us. As we walk through these hallowed corridors and chambers, we can't help but marvel at the ingenuity, the artistry, and the spiritual depth of the ancient Egyptians. Every stone, every glyph, Every passage hints at a civilization that was far ahead of its time and continues to captivate our imagination. Adjacent to the pyramid stands another enigmatic structure, the Sphinx, a colossal statue with the body of a lion and the face of a pharaoh. This awe-inspiring monument, carved out of a single block of limestone, is as much a testament to the ancient Egyptians' artistic skill as it is to their architectural prowess. The Sphinx is believed to have been built during the reign of Pharaoh Khafre, around 4,500 years ago. But its true purpose and significance are still subjects of ongoing debate among scholars. Some suggest it was a guardian figure, while others propose it was a divine image of the Pharaoh himself, establishing a connection between the divine and the mortal realm. Despite the countless studies and explorations, the Sphinx holds on to its secrets, refusing to yield easy answers. Like the pyramids, the Sphinx continues to captivate us with its mystery and grandeur. As we marvel at the Great Pyramids of Giza, we are reminded of the enduring legacy of ancient Egypt's architectural achievements. These colossal structures, constructed over 4,500 years ago, stand as testament to an ancient civilization's extraordinary engineering prowess. Built as tombs for pharaohs Khufu, Khafre and Menkaure, their construction involved quarrying massive limestone blocks and transporting them across the desert with simple tools and techniques. The precision and accuracy of their construction, aligned with the cardinal points of the compass, reflect the advanced knowledge and skill of the ancient Egyptians. Inside, 
Intricate passageways and chambers adorned with hieroglyphs and treasures continued to captivate and mystify modern archaeologists. And let's not forget the enigmatic Sphinx, a colossal statue with the body of a lion and the face of a pharaoh, adding to the intrigue and wonder of Giza. Join us next time as we continue to explore the wonders of the ancient world.